my wow moment was when um, I was in the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C., and we were inducting the pack of gum that was first scanned back in 1973, and I thought, wow, I work for the company that did this, and it's going in the Smithsonian for the world to see for the end of time. I think I was super excited when I came to know that we are solving something great for the society, for the industry. For me, before joining GS1, it was more like a barcode. Okay, I'm going to sell barcode, but when I get got into the depth of it, it was something very big that we are solving a big question, a big problem of the society. When the member of the European Commission told us in this very moment that our standards could really play a key role in making the economy and our life more circular, that was really a wow moment for me. Well, my personal wow moment was when I first discovered what we do in the healthcare, uh, because it's so touching we are all patients, we are all confronted with, with uh, issues, family issues or, or children issues and uh, knowing that we can save lives and, and have better patient care with what we do was really touching to me. I would say it was uh, in 2006, I was at a, a global meeting and I wasn't meant to go but the guy who was meant to go couldn't go so he asked me to replace him and I was offered a job in Australia and it was wow should I go or not and in the end I said okay and the next day the guy told me that he had made all the arrangements for me to go to Australia so I ended up going to work four years for GS1 Australia and it changed my life. A wow moment for me occurred when the founder of the company Alan Haberman said these words to me Identification is the foundation of all computing. I had never thought of that before, but it helped me to understand how important our role as an international identification company really is. I think it's an incredible organization and that we transform the way the world works. Happy family. Extraordinary. Family. Purpose. Transparency. Community. Underestimated.